Welcome to the MANA introductory presentation on selling your manufacturer's representative agency. We'll discuss how to be compensated for your business, how current owners finance the sale, the buy-sell agreement, and other considerations. We also discuss single-person agency continuity. The reason you want to sell your manufacturer's representative business is obvious. You invested a lot of time and effort to build a successful manufacturer's representative business. Time and effort that creates value. Why not take advantage of that value to augment your investment portfolio so you can live comfortably in retirement? You're not the only one who benefits. Your principals retain sales continuity. Your successor gets to own their own business and loyal customers continue buying from a business they trust. Everybody wins. Professional manufacturers' representatives sell their businesses when they retire. While a financial balance sheet tells you there is minimal value to a manufacturer's representative business, the value of the relationships with customers and principals can be significant. The relationships the manufacturer's representative created with both customers and principals represents substantial value. For years, manufacturer's representative owners successfully sold and continue to sell their businesses, adding substantially to their retirement account. Manufacturer's representative businesses can generate up to one time the average annual commission sharing revenue, plus the book value. This rule applies to rep firms with no major assets. They don't own a building, nor do they stock inventory. Using the past three years to average the commission revenue seems to be the norm. A wide variety of specifics can affect the value, especially term of principal contracts and commission backlog. Ultimately, the selling value and commission sharing are what works for both parties. When we say sale of the manufacturer's representative business, we're really talking about two things. The first is the ownership transfer of the corporate stock from the current owner to the new owner. The value of the stock is the book value, the assets less any liabilities. The second part is the commission sharing for continuing the relationships, where the real compensation for your years of hard work can be derived. If the manufacturer's representative business owns significant assets, such as a building or inventory, the valuation changes and those assets need to be taken into account. We recommend you purchase the MANA Value the Rep Firm Special Report to help in the valuation process. We recommend you find a CPA or attorney knowledgeable in rep matters who can assist with the valuation, current trends for agency transition, and in setting up the agreement. The usual terms are for the new owner to pay the current owner over a five or seven year period. Once you arrive at a valuation, divide by five or seven to come up with the annual payment. That payment need not be paid once a year. It can be paid quarterly or even monthly. A new approach appears to be gaining popularity, and that is to pay a percentage rather than a fixed amount. For example, if the term is five years, pay 20% of the commissions annually. By using this approach, it encourages the current owner to sell the business to someone who can grow the business. If you sell to someone who lacks the skills to professionally manage the business, chances are they may lack the funds to pay what they owe as time passes. For the buyer, it provides protection in the event a major principal terminates the agreement during the payout term. Typically, this can be handled by a proxy to control the stock of the agency should payments not be made. Have a backup plan in case seller has to take the business back if the buyer fails to honor the payout amount. What happens if one or the other individuals unfortunately passes on during the transaction period? Consider purchasing life insurance policies to provide protection in the event this happens. If you decide you are ready to start the process of selling your manufacturer's representative business, the first step is to create a plan. Just as professional manufacturer's representatives use business plans to successfully run their businesses, putting together a succession plan creates the desired results. A well thought out plan takes you from where you are today, an owner of a business, to where you want to be at some point in the future, retired and enjoying the income brought in through the sale of the business. Multiple person agencies benefit from having employees who can buy the agency. Single person agencies lack that benefit. 
Can they sell their businesses and add to their retirement accounts? One possibility comes from finding a startup agent who would benefit from buying an existing agency. They achieve profitability sooner than someone starting from scratch, even taking into account the payments made to the owner of the agency they purchased. How do you find startup agents who might be prospects? MANA members can use the Rep Finder to create a list of manufacturers' representatives in their area. Look for those in the results that established their businesses within the past year that sell similar products. Contact them and see if they want to discuss buying your manufacturer's representative business. If they do, you want to keep the negotiations private until you reach an agreement. If your principals learn you may be planning retirement, they may decide to immediately terminate your agreements unless they understand the resources available to them from the new owner. A recommended strategy would be to tell your principals you brought someone on board to work with you. Introduce the other manufacturer's representative to principals and allow some time for them to accept the newcomer. At such time, you are probably safe to announce your retirement and you can be contacted if needed. During the period you both are together, mentor the startup and help them learn how to successfully run the business. You want to ensure they will be capable of growing the business and making payments to you. Another possibility for single-person agencies is an existing agency with no line conflicts, who may find your lines attractive to them. If you want to sell your agency or buy another agency, consider placing a MANA Business Opportunity Ad. We hope you found this presentation helpful. MANA members will find additional resources on succession planning and selling rep businesses in the member area of the MANA website.